you've tuned in to a very political episode of Jose's Room. In America, there are very important things that happen every four years. The World Cup begins and Americans pretend to like soccer for a few weeks. The Olympics start and Chinese children prove that they're better than most American adults. And least importantly, it's time to pick a new president. This is mostly for my American demographic. For my United Kingdom demographic, good luck choosing your next king? I don't know. I. Actually, I, I don't care. Back to my Americans. The presidential election is upon us in a few months. Which means it's time for most Americans to go online and pretend they know anything about politics. Politics are confusing. That's why we take a political science class in college and just regurgitate the dumb shit our teachers told us. Or we can just watch a couple of episodes of The West Wing and Newsroom and now we're professionals. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I just watch a whole bunch of conspiracy videos on YouTube. The Anyways, let's begin. Open your laptop and log into Facebook. Next, you have to post about politics. Know that there are four different options when doing so. Option one, actually do your research. Read articles from unbiased news media outlets. And then form a well thought out decision on who you will be voting for based on their social and economic plans that they will never achieve. I say they'll never achieve anything because the candidates are just puppets controlled by the NWO. These reptilian overlords control America's past, present, and future. The Illuminati is real. Anyways, once you've done your research, it's time to post something like this. After doing plenty of research, I will choose blank as my presidential hopeful. Hopefully, I'm not let down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but seriously, his or her economic plans will change the world. Ah, it's fun using our imagination because no one ever chooses option one. Anyways, option two. Don't do any research and just criticize other people's opinions and then insult them. Like this. Ew, you know Bernie is a socialist, right? <laughs> Good luck taking half my money. I got two words for the government. The Second Amendment. As for Hillary, I ain't voting for no woman. Women scare me. And what if she's constantly having her period and shit? Chemtrails are real, just look up. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Democrats! Hope all is well, bro. Post. Ah, that made me feel good. Now let's find some Republicans to make fun of. Ooh, I found one. Southwest Florida Young Republicans, a political organization. Let's see what we can write. <clears throat> Republican? More like Republicans. Am I right? Anyways, I'm a tad bit racist and I love oppressing women as much as y'all do. I also love chasing gay people out of my gated community by hurling rocks at them as much as the next Republican in line. But I will never vote Republican. Also, Bush was Republican and he did 9-11 and post. Well, now that you're done harassing people, it's time to form your own opinion. That's gonna be a little hard since you didn't do any research at all. Hmm. You know what? I can't think of anything. Maybe I can't come up with an original opinion because of the fluoride the government tainted our water supply with. Also, don't get your kids vaccinated. Anyways, moving on. Option three was mentioned earlier. You have to regurgitate everything your political science teacher told you. Kind of like an eagle feeds its young. So, so something like this. Huh, that's perfect. Hey look, it's the scene from the newsroom. When you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Anyways, option four is what I truly recommend. Step one, log off every social media you're a part of. Step two, close your computer. And step three, don't post anything on your Facebook about the election. In fact, don't go out and vote. Your vote doesn't count. The electoral college chooses who will become president. And they're run by the NWO. And the NWO has America in a vice. The shadow organization has brainwashed you into believing that you can cause change when in reality, you are mere sheep. Don't waste your time voting. Bernie Sanders is a puppet. Donald Trump is a marionette. Hillary Clinton is a dummy. Ted Cruz is a toy. John Kasich is a... Who's John Kasich? Oh, he's running for president. Anyways, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't post anything about politics online. If you were ever influenced by someone else's Facebook post to go out and vote for a certain candidate, you're not smart enough to vote. Sorry. Anyways, till next week. Catch you later.
How was that, my reptilian overlord? It is perfect. Once your million viewers see this video, enough to undo an attempt of a... I'm sorry, did you say millions? I normally get like 14 views an episode, and that's mostly me. I laugh at my own jokes sometimes. What are you talking about? You're PewDiePie, right? No, no, I'm, I'm definitely not PewDiePie. You, you must have gotten the wrong guy. Damn it! Now everyone's gonna go out and blow! I had one job, and that was to make this election easier to win. But now with everyone voting, it's gonna be impossible! Hey, man, I'm sorry. If, if it makes you feel any better, I, I'd love to join your ranks. Go f*** yourself. Damn it. You guys should go out and vote, though. It's kind of important. All right, let's get filming, Jose. Why is it so dark in here? Yeah, uh, the lights just stopped working. Eh, it doesn't matter. Well, hopefully you've done your research. Yeah, of course I did my research. This episode's about Republicans. Go. <clears throat> you've tuned in to a very Republican episode of Jose's Room. 